Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Benjelloun. I'm a PhD student in second year preparing a big data thesis in uh, the University of Sidi Mohammed bin Abdullah. I'm going to present to you our research paper, Big Data Driven Smart Fish Farming. And he here is the outline of uh, the presentation. First, we will introduce our work and state the objective. After that, we will talk about the state of art of Moroccan aquaculture. Then we'll dive into the big data use cases in this domain of application. Next, we will present big data functional architecture for fish uh, architecture proposal for fish farming system. Finally, we will conclude the presentation and talk about future work. With the increasing global population, the demand for food is also increasing and human consumption tends to prefer aliments with a much leaner and lower calorie source of protein. And naturally, fish is preferred and widely consumed. So aquaculture has a promising potential to help in securing food safety worldwide. Aquaculture production is growing more and more around the world. And China is the largest producer, followed by other Asian countries. Unfortunately, Morocco does not score great points in this domain. Besides, big data has a big potential to assess, uh, to assess actions in order to increase productivity in agriculture and in uh, aquaculture specifically. And big data uh, and business analytics revenue worldwide uh, in 2019 has reached $189 billion and is forecasted to reach $274.3 billion US dollars in 2022. These numbers encourage the use of big data in aquaculture in order to obtain its benefits. So the study purpose is to understand the Moroccan state of art and the foreign uh, existing solutions in order to propose uh, an optimized and global functional architecture for the current use cases. So to begin with, here is the state of art in uh, Morocco. Uh, so the production, uh, the, the aquaculture production has reached 14 million kilograms. And this is only the production of 2025 because it's the latest number we could find. In contrast, uh, seafood consumption in the same year has reached 20 kilograms per capita, per capita, which is uh, re which is around 70, 70 uh, point, uh, 81 million kilograms uh, for for the whole Morocco. So uh, to better visualize this huge gap, uh, here's a little graph. Uh, so this gap has resulted in around $160,000 million in imports value uh, of the same year. So now that we understand the need of investing in Moroccan aquaculture, we began to list the different big data use cases in order to identify the different parameters to include in our architecture. So here is our methodology. First, we have looked for all literature available between 2015 and 2021, but no articles of smart fish farming uh, using big data applied to Morocco were found. And also the most interesting ones were from Asia. So to overcome this problem of lack of references, we based our research on articles from countries having the same climate as Morocco, like Spain, Algeria, and Tunisia. And again, we only found a few articles only from Spain. So the different uh, use cases resulting from this, uh, this uh, methodology are uh, uh, fish growth, survival, feed conversion ratio, live fish identification, behavioral analysis, species classification, feeding strategies, size or biomass estimation, and water quality management. So we propose a global architecture as a base of all these use cases uh, listed before, which consists of five main levels. So first we have data sources, sources uh, which, uh, which are composed of the sensors uh, who are go going to be installed in the fish farm. Flat files, which are the complementary uh, data uh, sent by the business. 
and APIs. Uh, which which contains the data uh, some some useful data uh, coming from uh, from uh, different uh, sources using APIs. The second level is data collection. So this this data collection uh, method is going to change uh, depending on the data source. So for each uh, data source is going to be a different data collection uh, method. The main uh, component is the data lake. We have uh, decided to divide it into to divide it into three main zones, which is uh, which uh, and the first one is the row zone, which consists of uh, the raw data uh, only uh, as is coming from the source, and also storing this data. The second zone is going to be re the refined row the, the the refined zone and containing the data processed. Uh, from the row zone and some uh, some temporary data storage. Finally, we're going to have the access zone, which contains the data uh, ready to be uh, to be used, uh, and also some available data uh, by domain. Throughout all this process, we're gonna we're going to have data governance to ensure the effective and efficient use of data. And finally, we have the data consumption uh, level, which is going to uh, englobe all of the use cases we have uh, seen uh, before, and which uh, which uh, consists of machine learning use cases, dashboards and KPIs, and also predictive analyses. To conclude, we propose a functional architecture of the dedicated fish farming system uh, in our work that relies on five levels mainly, as we just said, data sources, data collection, data lake, data governance, and data consumption. And for our future work, we proposed uh, a technical architecture. And after that, we are going to build a proof of concept uh, of this architecture, that we, of the technical architecture. And finally, we're going to uh, use data analysis based on the explanatory variables to be able to take actions accordingly. Thank you for listening.